Aunt Mamie from Doodle Dog Designs. Need help figuring out which needle to use on the Ultra Punch Needle? If you recently purchased an Ultra Punch Needle tool, you might be wondering what to do with the three needles that came with it. It isn't obvious at first glance, but if you look real close at the needle, you will see there's a circle in the blue plastic part right there. And inside the circle is a letter. There's an L for the large needle. There is an M for the medium sized needle and the small needle has an S in that circle. The small needle is to be used with two or three strands of embroidery floss. If you aren't sure what that means, when you buy a skein of embroidery floss, such as DMC embroidery floss, it, the threads are all twisted up together, but there are six threads in there. And so when I say two to three strands of embroidery floss, you're gonna use two or three of these individual little strings. You can take out little sections at a time and untwist them a little bit at a time or you can untwist the entire skein of floss all at once and I'll put a link in the description below for a video showing how to do that. The medium needle is to be used with three to six strands of embroidery floss. So with the medium needle you could use the embroidery floss just as it is as it comes all twisted together. And the large Needle is for six strands up to small sock yarn size. A good rule of thumb is if the string will flow easily through the needle, it will work for punching. But it's best to use the smallest needle size that you can for the thread that you're using. The Ultra Punch Needle also comes with two different springs. You're going to use this spring that has a tapered end with the small and medium needles. And this spring here, that's the same width all the way across, goes with the large needle. People usually punch with either three strands of floss or six strands of floss. I like to punch with three strands of floss. It gives a kind of a fluffier look to the project. And I will put a link in the description box below to a video where I punched the same project using three strands and six strands. So you can see the difference for yourself. If you want to change the needle tips, you take the tool and you see the little silver ball there. You're going to take the end of the tube and push in and move that silver ball up around this groove and out here and it will all come apart. Then you take the spring off and then you're going to just twist this needle tip off and then you can see it's got a hole in the end of the tool and this matches exactly. So let's change to this tip which is the small. So you want to take the tip and this tube right here and slide the tip into that hole and twist it and then you need to take the spring and slide it over, making sure that the needle tip comes through the very end of the spring. And then you're going to slide the outer tube over and again, line up that little silver piece with the shaft and bring it in. And then if you want to punch you just put it up here to whatever punching depth you want thanks for watching be sure to click the like button and subscribe below i'll see you next time bye